2171 AD. Humanity once again reached for the stars. Global superpowers had raced to build orbital elevators in their territories, turning the emptiness of space into cluttered colonies of surveillance satellite networks and military way stations. Back on the surface, while no nations engaged in all-out war, border skirmishes became more frequent. On these ever-shifting front lines, armored humanoid battle vehicles codenamed Wanzers have proven to be the unrivaled kings. History has taught us that humanity, wherever it went, would baptize its new home with blood drawn in battle. In this age, no place is safe from the ravages of war. Link's going to be ready? Just about done. Okay, go ahead and try them. Initiating operations control system wizard. Only an Ooh. 0.02% deviation. Great job. <laughs> Maybe everyone will relax a little now. Yeah, what's up with everyone's today? Isn't this just supposed to be a regular demonstration? Maybe Wizard knows something. Wiz? Retrieving information from the Military Administration data net. Data indicates that any performance failure displayed during today's tests will result in the termination of funding for the Edge System Upgrade Project assigned to Diablo yeah. Avionics. Military what? We shouldn't be able to access that. I have been upgrading her in my spare time. Upgrades? You've turned Wiz into a hacker? Information Done! Stop! I have to! No time to waste. We gotta get this test started. Jeez, Dylan. Why do you always do this to me? Okay, Dylan. Start moving to the testing area. demonstrate how you can skate through the markers without stopping. Activate the Agile skate system by pressing the backpack button. Pressing it again will stop Agile skate. You didn't get it. Remember, Dylan, you need to skate through the markers without disengaging Agile skate. Dylan, now move to the next marker. Good! Now let's show them how we can jump and hover through these markers. Press the jump button to jump. Press it again or in the air to hover. Press it a third time to drop. Excellent! Okay, it's time to test the combat system. First, let's try your machine gun. Move to the target lane. A Wanzer can have up to four weapons equipped at once. One on each shoulder and one in each hand. The machine gun is equipped in your right hand. Shoot the targets as they pop up.
show them how quickly we can refill ammunition. There, now you're out of ammo. Walk, nice job. Now let's demonstrate how precision attacks can cripple the enemy. Destroy his arms to reduce the damage and accuracy of the gun on that arm. the info you can get. Accessing UCS strategic data link. An identified Wanzers have landed near the mouth of the Hudson River. UCS units assigned to the orbital elevator, Percival, are currently engaging the intruders. What about Dad's office? Unable to retrieve current data on the National Strategic Research Labs. We'd better go see for ourselves. Set a course for the NSRL. Think of it as a field test for the demonstration. That's a real war zone out there! You're not even a soldier! You'll get killed! I don't need to be. Not with Wiz and the edge system we've been developing. I know you want to help your dad. But you can't do this, Dylan. Bye, Amy.
Good luck, son. the hard way. Let's see a radar map. Location of NSRL. Most efficient route calculated. Current route minimizes probability of contact with unidentified wanzers. Unidentified wanzers? I think it's safe to call them enemies now, Wiz. <laughs>
see you assault wanters. Since when are we at war with them? Unable to find official records of declaration of war being sent by the OCU. Was the army taking a nap or something? And how could they let these guys into New York so easily? Dad's not gonna stand a chance unless we get there soon. <laughs> It's our company's newest prototype. This is Sergeant Adela Sewell of the 72nd Mobile Company. All civilians must leave this combat area immediately. Don't worry, I'll leave. As soon as I get my dad out of the NSRL building. Give me a break. My orders are to break through enemy lines and reach the orbital elevator. I have no time to waste on you. Well, what a coincidence. The NSRL's that way. I'm coming with you. Diablo might work for the testing range, but it's not going to hold up in a real fight. So let me show you how the army upgrades and customizes their wanzers. Here's where you choose your weapons for your right arm, left arm, left shoulder, and right shoulder. Different weapons provide unique tactical benefits. Machine guns are general purpose weapons that excel at medium range, and shotguns deliver the biggest punch at close range. Shoulder weapons pack a heavy punch in terms of damage, but they weigh a lot and don't have much ammo. As I'm sure you know, the total weight of a Wanzer must be below the power generated. Going overweight is easy, so don't equip too many weapons. Ah, <sighs> yes. One of the best ways to improve the fighting capability of your Wanzer is to equip some battle skills. Battle skills add special abilities to your weapons like bonus damage or decreased enemy accuracy. When you fire a weapon with a battle skill equipped, it has a chance to activate. But pay attention to how many skill slots a weapon has. Some battle skills take up more than one slot and cannot be fitted on all weapons. In the army, the visual look of your Wanzer is important to signify your rank and status. The overall visual style, color schemes, and glossiness can all be adjusted on per-part basis. Additionally, you can apply a decal to each Wanzer part. More decals will become available as you accomplish goals set by your commanding officer. 
When you're good to go, exit customization to confirm your changes. We're nearing the LZ, so don't take all day.